What's up guys, Gabe Seymour here with Pest Patrol showing you how to clean up rodent droppings from your crawl space. Well, let's do this guys. So maybe you have a rodent infestation in your crawl space, you get down and you trap it all out and you locate and seal up all the entry points and you're like, good, finally, it's just taken care of. And now you've got a crawl space that's covered in rodent droppings. Now you've got an attic space that's covered in rodent droppings. Now you've got droppings all under your kitchen sink. Maybe you haven't cleaned them up yet. How do you clean it up and how do you do it the right way, making sure that you and your family actually stay safe? So before you just jump down in your crawl space and start vacuuming stuff up with your home's vacuum, we need to talk about keeping yourself safe first. The first things you're gonna need, obviously some gloves, so your hands stay relatively clean. A respirator, very, 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 very important. Did I say very important? Very important, very important. Get a respirator. This is a 3M P100 filtered respirator. And make sure you have enough extra filters. It's important, this is your body you're talking about, your lungs, your respiratory system. Don't go cheap on respirators, don't go cheap on filters, do it the right way, keep yourself safe. Also a Tyvek suit, if you're gonna be crawling around under a crawl space, this protects you from rodent droppings, urine, insulation, and whatever else might be down there, dirt. Although it's getting more common, a lot of vacuums aren't HEPA filtered. So let me show you our recommendation here for a vacuum cleaner for doing this. This is an Atrix Ergo Pro. It is HEPA filtered and it's a fantastic vacuum system. A HEPA filter stands for High Efficiency Particulate Absorbing Filter. HEPA filter, right? So it filters out more of the junk than a non-HEPA filter does. It keeps you and your family safe better than a non-HEPA filter does you don't want rodent dropping particulates floating around your house and when you go down there to vacuum you're going to be disturbing all of the dust and stuff so as you're cleaning up you want to make sure you're using a hepa filtered vacuum specifically to do the job right okay so you've got on your protective equipment you've got your hepa filtered vacuum ready to go and you jump down and now there's droppings everywhere you need to be strategic about it and recognize that uh, depending on your level of skill and physical ability and stuff, uh, it's gonna take quite a bit of time. So this is why companies like mine offer crawl space cleanups because this is really hard work, okay? Now, I'm gonna pause real quick and just let you know. A lot of times what you'll find is that once you get into that project, you realize this is gonna take me so long to vacuum up all the droppings, it's not worth doing it. I'd rather just have somebody remove all my vapor barrier, remove all the soiled insulation, and put in nail. I don't want to waste my time, all right? But if you do, if you do want to spend the time to do it, um, then that's how you do it. You need to use a HEPA filtered vacuum. You need to make sure you're suited up and that you have a respirator on, at least a P100 respirator, um, at the bare minimum an N95. But the problem with N95 masks is they usually don't seal very well, so you're actually not getting a whole lot of protection from them. So a P100 respirator is gonna be the way to go. So you're down there and you vacuum in all up. Now your crawl space is rodent dropping free. Good. If rodents have infested your blown in attic insulation, if you go up there with a vacuum cleaner, you're gonna literally just be vacuuming up bags and bags and bags of attic insulation. Sometimes in this dilemma, it's easier to just go up there, have all the blown in insulation sucked out and new stuff blown in. Right? And we'd also recommend in the middle of that process that you spray down the area with an enzymatic cleaner, again, to remove urine. Uh, any sort of hard surfaces though, in an attic space, sometimes you'll have an HVAC unit that'll be up there or heating tubes, or sometimes there'll be plywood on the floor that'll be covered in droppings. You can always do it uh, on those, but it's difficult to vacuum up rodent droppings from an attic space, so just uh, be advised. And something to know that's very important is that before you start this process of cleaning up all the rodent droppings, you have to be 100% sure that you've actually solved the issue. So have you trapped out the rodent infestation? Are you positive they're not currently there? You need to set traps, you need to locate and seal all the entry points up, and then keep the traps set there and baited and make sure you don't have any activity. So ensure that your infestation is removed prior to putting all this work in to redo everything. Otherwise, you're just wasting time. 
Okay guys, that's basically it. I hope that's really helpful. It's not rocket science to do this, but it is really hard work. So this is how you safely remove rodent droppings from your crawl space. Again, make sure you use a HEPA filtered vacuum system and make sure that you use a Tyvek suit, a respirator, gloves, take care of your body, take care of your family, make sure that you're really safe. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to shoot us a text at 503. 985-6523. Also like and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit a thousand YouTube subscribers in the year 2022. So rock it, go subscribe, support our business. And if you have any questions, you can also visit pestpatrolpdx.com. Thanks for watching. Go rock it out there.